Hi, this is Christine from Tamar's Hope. And I wanted to come on and do a follow-up video for my previous video that I did regarding Mike Bickle uh, from founder of the International House of Prayer in Kansas City and the scandal that's going on with the sexual abuse allegations. And there's been some, some more information that has come out and I just wanna say that if anyone is listening to this who might be connected in leadership there, this definitely needs to be called out and have a third party investigation because there's many people that are coming forward now that have been leaders in the house of prayer that are godly men and what they're saying everybody cannot be wrong so the recent uh the recent in information that has come out um was from joel richardson and he says this is what he says on his um twitter account it says i say lovingly that oh no first he says this morning, numerous former IHOP executive leaders and staff woke up to find all of their IHOP emails accounts deleted. So much for transparent, honest investigation. This is starting to look grossly like a cover up. And then he also wrote before that 12 hours ago, and I, I just wanna show you that I am reading this from his actual Twitter account and it's a uh, Joel Richardson <clears throat> it's at Joel 7 Richardson so you can look it up on your own if you like and the other post that he made was, I say lovingly, anyone from the larger IHOP world who still believes this present scandal is, quote unquote, the black horse is essentially the same as the QAnon folks who believe Trump is still the president and controlling the military. Trust Jesus, not, quote unquote, the plan or, quote unquote, the prophetic history. And this is what I really wanted to touch on is he was talking about, he just made a post two hours ago, well, three hours ago now. And he says, regarding the IHOP scandal, he says, how these types of things tend to unfold is a pattern as old as mankind. The first effort will be to discredit all of the men and women who have come forward as whistleblowers and their advocates. Two, Mike will likely make an official mea culpa statement in which he takes responsibility for some issues, but not nearly all of the things for which he is actually guilty. This will be enough, however, to elicit tremendous sympathy and support. Three, there will be a friendly or weak investigation. Mike will likely be removed from the ministry for a short period, but then reinstated. Four, I want to be very clear here. Mike Bickle was my hero. I esteemed him not only for his excellent Bible teaching, but more than anything for his integrity and character. Five, but based on everything that I have seen and heard, I absolutely believe that he is a wolf in sheep's clothing who needs to be removed from ministry permanently. I am willing to lose everything over this. Six, before this is all said and done, 
many more heartbreaking revelations will emerge. If they don't, just know that there is much, so much being covered up enough to make one sick. Seven, I understand that many out there are trying to understand this nightmare. Many will likely be very angry at me for saying these things. What I am saying is truth and I am willing to die on this hill. And there was also another statement, official statement that was released yesterday um, from Alan Hood, another um, IHOP 